Happy Tuesday, 92 family and friends. Uh, Pastor Bill here with our emphasis on the grow root, the joy of being in the Word of God at home. Now, before you scroll on past this, just hang with me three minutes, and you will have done your personal home devotion today, if you haven't already. Uh, so I'm going to take a look at John chapter 10, verses 7 and following, the Good Shepherd chapter. Uh, it's a chapter just that precedes uh, last week's chapter from John 11. And again, I'm going to ask you to just think about the four questions that uh, I utilize when I do my personal devotions. Uh, what did I get out of this uh, chapter? What's striking? Uh, where's the sin? Where's the grace from God, the gospel message? And what did I learn that I could pray for? So here we go. The Good Shepherd chapter, John 10, verses 7 and following. Therefore, Jesus said again, I tell you the truth. I am the gate for the sheep. All who ever came before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd who owns the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and, and scatters it. The man runs away because he's a hired hand, cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. and My sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of the sheep pen. I must bring them all so they too will listen to my voice and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I receive from my father. These words, the Jews were again divided. Many of them said, He's demon-possessed and raving mad. Why listen to him? But others said, These are not the sayings of a man possessed by a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? So we're going to ask those four questions. What's striking to you? Where's the sin? Where's the grace? And what did you learn that you could pray for today to be a part of your life? One other thing I like to do for personal devotions is if there's time, uh, I love listening to a good hymn or a good Christian song. Uh, today we look to our friends from Koine who are going to play for us uh, The King of Love, My Shepherd Is, hymn 375, uh, from a video recording of theirs. I hope you enjoy. And if you're looking for more examples of home devotions, don't forget to check out a video that was uh, uploaded just the day before. Uh, it's a family devotion uh, with a little comedic twist. Uh, I hope you enjoy. God bless. Have a great Tuesday. shepherd is whose goodness fails me never I nothing lack if I am his and he is mine
Your goodness fails me never. Good shepherd, may I sing your praise within.